So the AM parts that we've started uh, this journey on are the cylinder of our engine, which is kind of the heart and soul of the engine. It made the most sense to start there because th that's where uh, most of the design changes happen rapidly. That's where the, the highest tooling costs are. Um, and it's really where the performance is locked in in the engine. So uh, it made a lot of sense from a lot of different perspectives to start there. Our two different parts, um, actually they have the same function as you can see. Uh, this feature here is the same between our traditional finned cylinder and the part we designed for AM. Um, and some of the interesting features are, is that this cylinder has to have a lot of support structure to be able to print. And you can kind of see that if you see these shiny areas. Um, there's some here as well. We had a lot of support structure that we had to remove. It takes quite a bit of time and effort uh, and then leaves a part that doesn't look as good as it could. The design for AM part is, again, it has the same exact function. Um, instead of fins for cooling, we use a lattice structure to cool. The air flows through this and, and, uh, and this lattice structure conducts air away from the, the engine out into, uh, out into the lattice and then eventually out into this ductwork, which on this cylinder, the duct is an external plastic part. On this cylinder, the duct is integrated right into the print. So this is another cylinder that fits on essentially the same engine. Again, there's that, there's that exhaust attachment feature that was the same on the other two. This cylinder happens to be liquid cooled, so rather than air flowing over the outside, liquid is forced through passages. These three passages you see here, liquid is forced through and uh, cools the, the engine that way. A couple of very unique features that we were able to do with additive manufacturing. One is the integration of parts. So rather than having a separate cylinder head that's bolted down to the cylinder, this is all one part now. And then most interestingly, what we're able to do is what we call precision cooling. So these three different passageways all lead to different places and it allows us to cool the head, which is the hotter part of the engine, differently than we cool the side of the cylinder. You could never do that with casting. And the other unique thing that uh, we recognized when we first started machining some of these liquid-cooled cylinders was just the incredible accuracy of uh, the Renishaw process. As you can see, the machine surface integrates almost one for one. You can't even, you can't even feel the gap between the printed surface and the machine surface, and that holds side to side. So it's just a, an incredible amount of accuracy that we're seeing that, that we never even dreamed we'd see with this process.